I would hope as a person who plays Genshin that you have heard about the Chronicled Wish system by now. If you haven't, there are a ton of other videos out there or just even blog posts that are explaining exactly what this banner does. The extremely simplified version of this banner is it is a new limited banner that takes limited wishes, has a collection of standard and limited characters and their weapons. Then you can use fate points to dynamically choose whether you want characters or weapons. And the main thing about this banner, well, I mean, the, the main problem with this banner right now is that we don't know some very important details like how long it lasts, whether it's half a version or a full version, or maybe even longer than a full version. And without important information like that, it is really hard to judge this banner properly. Now, I believe that the main problem against this banner or the main problem people have with it is that we are getting this system, which to some seems kind of convoluted, opposed to just a basic triple banner system, which which I guess that kind of warms my heart because I just, when double banners came out, I just remember a whole lot of people getting unreasonably upset over it, even though it made no damn sense. It was an interesting time to say the least. You know, you had a lot of people saying that, oh, we're going to have like half the time to save for characters, but refusing to say that, you know, uh, those characters are going to come back twice as fast. But oh, well, I think a lot of those people have come around by now and, you know, realize that double banners are pretty damn good and that a lot of people have actually come around to seeing that, you know, I think we need triple banners, but we're getting Chronicle Wish instead. Instead, uh, it's not necessarily instead of, but honestly, with how concerning it is for new players to see a lot of banners when they open the wishing screen, I just don't see it turning out well if you have like the beginner banner for new players, obviously, the standard banner, two limited banners, a weapon banner, then the Chronicle Wish banner, and then God knows what else they managed to stuff in there sometimes. You don't want it to look like it's freaking Las Vegas with advertisements ever flashing in your face with these pretty pictures because God, it's confusing as a new player. Game content is always going to evolve and become more confusing. Game Games are going to gain more systems, more currencies, more things to do, more regions, more quests, and the new player experience will always suffer because it's the nature of the system. You can't just say, well, screw new, screw the existing players and we are only going to work on the beginning of the game. It doesn't work that way. It's a constant battle of adding more content and improving the new player experience. But the last thing you want is the monetization to look insane. I know that there are many of you like me out there that never really played another gadget game before Genshin Impact. I might have tried a couple myself, but they were attached to franchises that I already loved like Fire Emblem Heroes or Pokemon Masters, neither of which I really liked. And I remember the monetization aspect of those games seemed like hell. There were a lot of flashy things trying to get you to spend money, and it really just pulled you in a bunch of different directions. And even if you're open to spending money, seeing something like that just isn't really appealing. And as Genshin adds more naturally, because it needs to, it's going to get a little bit more complicated for new players. And they just wanted the same experience that uh, many of people like me did when you started in 1.0, when it was just a beginner banner, a standard wish, one limited weapon, and one limited character. That was very simple to understand, and Genshin has a very clean user interface. One of the downsides of this Chronicle Wish is that it is another different type of banner, because right now we only have beginner, standard, and limited, and limited obviously being split between characters and weapons. And the funny thing is, is, I've even seen people who actually play Genshin who still don't understand Chronicle Wish. So in terms of the new player experience and preserving a clean and understandable experience, a triple banner system might have actually been better than this Chronicled Wish if even existing players still have some issues understanding how it works, although I'm sure that'll be alleviated once they actually see it in game. But let's just get right into triple banners and mostly just Chronicled Wish versus triple banners. Now, I've been advocating for triple banners for a very long time, and I would think that anyone that really likes characters like Eula, Klee, and Albedo, for example, really agreed that something needed to be done because certain characters just don't show up very often. And the importance of this or any other kind of banner system can easily be explained by very very simple math. Pretty soon, we are going to have Chiori. This is going to bump the current limited five-star character count up to 33 characters. And as we all know, a version lasts 42 days, giving roughly 8.7 versions a year, or 34.7 banners, with the double banner system anyway. And that alone already paints a pretty damn grim picture. 34.7 banners, 33 limited five-star characters. We're pretty much at the limit where you can only get one character once a year. And even that doesn't really work out because we all know there are some pretty strict rules that Hoyoverse has to follow. New Archons especially have to be rerun pretty quickly because they make a lot of damn money. Xiao has to be rerun fairly often lest we forget about him, that's unacceptable. And Yoimiya needs to be shoved in wherever she is very unlikely to make any kind of money. Then there's the giant elephant in the room of we're constantly getting new characters. This problem only gets worse. Genshin has been live for about 30 versions over its 1,258 days as of recording this. So basically we're getting a little bit more than one new five-star every version of the game because the double banners or 
the double new five star patches are more than making up for the versions where we get nobody. The whole reason people would want triple banners is to rotate through these characters faster because when a person wants a character like Eula, they end up waiting for a very long time because Eula just, she doesn't really have any selling power. Like sure, you can try to say something like that, but most of the revenue from a banner comes from a lot of just regular people who are either there on launch day or miss the character and just want a copy of C0 either for the sake of collection or because they kind of like the character. The truth is just that weaker characters or less popular characters in the meta just don't get wished on as often because a lot of people are forced to wish for characters that are going to make some meaningful difference in their account for power and maybe hopefully get them closer to a spiral abyss clear or just make their account more comfortable to play. So when you have characters like this, which <laughs> like honestly, the opening banner of Klee, Albedo, Eula could not be a better poster child for characters that are essentially like unloved, old, clunky, and just no one really wants them. So like this is a good banner to shove them all on at once, say, have at it, you know, try to wish for these characters. Um, Obviously, one of the biggest pros of this banner is that you can chart your course for a limited character and you can lose your 50-50 to another limited character. If you're someone out there who loves Eula and Klee, really what better banner or system could you hope for where you can wish for one character that you really love and lose character or uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, lose your 50-50 to another character that you really like. When you factor something like that in with the other benefits of this banner, such as making weapons like Tainari and Dia's weapons finally available again, or being able to chart your course towards something that is actually better than the original weapon banners that weapons came on, also being able to do it for standard characters, this banner easily has a potential to be better than triple banners in almost every way. Sure, it may be a little bit more complex than the average banner, being essentially a dynamic banner, where you can actively choose whether it is a character or weapon banner, depending on who you chart your course towards, which again, I think is pretty cool. Whether or not this has the capability of actually being better than the triple banner depends entirely on how often it is ran, or whether or not it even is a permanent fixture, because the post it was revealed in, or clarified in, said that it, it may not necessarily be around all the time, may come and go, but if it lasts for one entire version and rotates every version, then it's better than a triple banner. A triple banner would have only introduced two more banners per patch. The Chronicle Wish banner has a potential to add three per patch if it rotates once a patch. And more importantly than that, it's the characters that are being put on it that are so important. Many people I've seen actually use the example that it is Klee, Eula, and Albedo as a con against this banner, saying that it's garbage. Like, why would anyone wish for this? Well, if you're someone who doesn't want those characters, already has them, or whatever reason, it's a good thing for you. It keeps those characters off of regular banners and as we know the two regular banners meld together to make one weapon banner and if you want one of those banners or one of those weapons but not the other one well surprise Klee is basically sabotaging that weapon banner by putting a standard weapon on it or Albedo often puts the summit shaper one of the worst weapons in the game but whether you're on the side of loving these characters and wishing they would rerun more often or on the side of wanting them to stay the hell away from banners so they don't pollute a weapon banner both sides are winning from this and that makes the chronicle wish banner a kind of elegant solution, honestly. But I'll acknowledge the fact that that does rely on some assumptions. One, that characters like Eula, Klee, and Albedo having shown up on this banner won't be showing up on regular limited banners anytime soon. Not that they ever really did anyway. But this at least says like, hey, look, they had this banner. They don't need to be on limited banners for a while. Which sounds entirely reasonable because being on the Chronicle Bush banner in general, if you like that character, is probably better than being on a regular limited banner. That would depend entirely on the situation of your own account. For me, for example, I've been playing for so long and I have done a fair share of, you know, small whaling. I have C6 of most of the standard five star characters. So if I could instead get constellations for like Albedo or Klee, I would rather that than just getting a small very small refund on wishes. In a few days or so, hopefully we'll know the exact information about this banner, how long it lasts, how often it rotates, because those are key here. Once a version, every version is the perfect scenario. That would be better than triple banners in my opinion, especially because triple banners have the question of what the hell do you do with the weapon banner? Ideally, they would rework the weapon banner entirely and just make you like chart your course towards a weapon and within one point you got exactly what you wanted, you picked one of the three, but I don't think that's gonna happen. If it turns out that the chronic which system lasts for an entire region, like all of the Fontaine versions, that would be really bad and my tune would change entirely and I would call this banner an atrocious failure. I imagine the worst case scenario for timing is that it will disappear sometimes and maybe show up for a whole version like 
every second version. That's my guess. And I also think people are going to be a lot more positive to this banner when it comes out, but also in its next iteration when maybe it rotates to Liyue and characters like Ganyu Xiao and maybe even Hu Tao show up on it. That's really all I have to say about this. It's nice to be positive about a new feature coming out, but that's go figure. They they put a little bit more effort into the ones that actually have to do with monetization instead of something like the artifact loadouts, which still suck. But you know what? You guys don't suck. So thank you to you guys for supporting me on Patreon and YouTube membership. Thank you to you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Attaboy!